The Battle of Lemnos, fought on the 18th of January 1913, was a naval battle during the First Balkan War, in which the Greeks defeated the second and last attempt of the Ottoman Empire to break the Greek naval blockade of the Dardanelles and reclaim supremacy over the Aegean Sea. This, the final naval battle of the First Balkan War, forced the Ottoman navy to retreat to its base within the Dardanelles, from which it did not venture for the rest of the war, thus ensuring the dominion of the Aegean Sea, and the Aegean Islands by Greece. Chapter 1, Prelude Following the loss of a number of Aegean Islands to Greece during the first phase of the war in 1912, and its first defeat at the Battle of Ely, the Ottoman navy sought to check Greek progress by destroying the Greek fleet docked at the port of Maudros, Lemnos. However, it faced the problem of countering the Greek flagship, the Georgios Averof, which had already defeated them at Ely. The Ottomans developed the plan to slip a fast cruiser through the Greek patrols for a raiding mission in the Aegean, hoping to draw off some Greek ships, possibly even the Georgios Averof itself, leaving the remainder of the Greek fleet weakened for attack. Indeed, the cruiser Hamadie evaded the Greek lookout ships on the night of 13-14 January 1913, and sunk a Greek transport ship at Syros the next day, also bombarding the island's harbour. This action caused concern in Athens, and an order was sent to the fleet, commanding it to sail immediately in pursuit. Admiral Counturiotis refused to obey, suspecting an Ottoman trap, and instead prepared for the inevitable exit of the Ottoman fleet from the Dardanelles Straits. On the Ottoman side, efforts were made to uplift the morale of the crews, including the hoisting of the original banner of the Great Corsair and Admiral Hayreddin Barbarossa on the flagship, Barbaros Hayreddin, which was named after him. Chapter 2, Battle The Greek fleet, led by Rear Admiral Pavlos Counturiotis was composed of its 9,960-ton armoured cruiser flagship Georgios Averov, the three old ironclad battleships Tsai, Hydra and Sara, and seven destroyers. The Ottoman flotilla, led by Captain Ramiz Bey included the pre-dreadnought battleships Barbaros Hayreddin and Turgut Race and the older ironclad battleship Mezudie, the cruiser Mesigie, and five destroyers. The old ironclad Asar Tefik remained in the Dardanelles and did not participate in the battle. At 8.20 on the morning of January 5, the Greek patrols signaled that the Ottoman fleet had appeared. At 9.45, the Greek fleet sailed from Maudros Bay. The two fleets met some 19.3 kilometers SE of Lemnos, sailing southeast in converging columns, with their flagships in front. The gunnery exchange commenced at 11.34, when the two fleets were at a distance of 8,400 metres. Immediately the Greek column turned left, further diminishing the distance. Soon after, the Messagier and the accompanying destroyers turned northeast towards the Dardanelles, followed by the Mesudier at 11.50, after it had suffered heavy damage from the combined fire of Hydra and Sara. At 11.54, a successful salvo from the Georgios Averov hit the Barbaros Hayreddin, destroying its middle tower, forcing it to withdraw towards the Dardanelles, along with the Turgut race at 12 o'clock. As at Ely, the Georgios Averov commenced independent action, using its superior speed, and maneuvering so that it could use the artillery of both its sides, to pursue the Ottoman ships, while the older battleships followed as fast as they could. The pursuit ended finally at 14.30, as the Ottoman ships were nearing the Dardanelles. Chapter 3, Aftermath Throughout the battle, the Ottoman ships achieved an excellent rate of fire, firing about 800 shells, but with dismal accuracy. Only two hits were registered on the Georgios Averov, causing one injury and minor damages, while the other battleships escaped unscathed. The Ottoman ships, suffered far more. Barbaros Hayreddin was hit by over 20 shells, which destroyed much of its artillery, and suffered 32 dead and 45 wounded. Turgut Race suffered a major leak and other minor damages from 17 hits, and 9 dead and 49 wounded. Mesudie also suffered several hits, but the main damage was caused by a 270mm shell which destroyed the central 150mm gun platform, and caused 68 casualties. 
This, the final naval battle of the First Balkan War, forced the Ottoman navy to retreat to its base within the Dardanelles, from which it did not venture for the rest of the war, thus ensuring the dominion of the Aegean Sea by Greece. For the Greeks, the withdrawal of the Ottoman fleet within the Dardanelles was confirmed by First Lieutenant Michael Mutusis and Ensign Aristides Maratinis on January 24, 1913. They conducted a naval aviation mission, flying their Morris Farman hydroplane over the Nagara naval base, where they spotted the enemy fleet. During their sortie, they accurately drew a diagram of the positions of the Ottoman fleet, against which they dropped four bombs. Mutusis and Maratinis travelled over 180 kilometres and took 140 minutes to complete their mission, which was extensively reported in both the Greek and international press.